Hi guys, how are you doing? Neil here. Welcome back to the channel. Believe it or not, I have a guitar in this box here. This is the weirdest guitar I think that I've ever had on the channel. But also, it's really convenient that Donna sent this guitar out to me. Inside this box is a Hush X, okay? These are travel guitars, and from what I've seen of reviews and people's comments on them, they're actually really, really good, which is a first, I guess, for travel guitars. Luckily for me, Donna got in touch with me, and in two weeks, I go away on a caravan holiday with four people in a car, and I am super looking forward to taking this guitar with me now because... I was going to be pretty pushed, to be honest, to take a full-scale guitar with me in a case and everything on holiday. So, very convenient. Can't wait to get into it. Let's check it out. Okay, guys, so first of all, I just want to say that the link to this guitar, if you want to buy it, is down there below in the description. Also down there below in the description are some affiliate links. If you want to buy any gear at all, I have a Toman affiliate link and an Anderton's affiliate link as well. Anytime you use those links, when you go through them and buy anything, it helps me out with this end. So, let's get into it. Don't know what to expect. I've seen these guitars. Um, there's a few Hush guitars out. They're all travel guitars. The idea behind them is to get as rid of as much size as possible. So, it's a really small amount of wood, I guess. You know, the neck and the body. And then there are extensions that you kind of plug in or screw in or something. that kind of make it guitar shaped so it can sit on your knee. Basically... That's the bottom line of it. Um, I'm going to demo this guitar. Soon is Donna's 10th anniversary. I think it's the 10th. And they're celebrating that by doing, you know, some promotion online. And they've asked me to do a solo for them. So I may as well use this guitar. It would be pretty cool. Um, once I've broken it in and everything, got the strings worn in, I'll be doing a bit of an improvisational solo for you guys. And uh, yeah, can't wait to do it. Can't wait to get into it. It's taped up really well, this guitar. I'll give them that, that's for sure. There's tape everywhere. Not much chance of the box coming undone. The other thing that I think is cool about these Hush X guitars is that they've actually got humbuckers on. Obviously, if you're a metal or a rock player, you're gonna want a humbucker or if you're playing the high gain stuff. So, you know, a lot of travel guitars don't have, you know, because of the size thing, they have a single coil on there. This guitar doesn't, it has a humbucker on from what I've seen. So yeah, let's get into it. Or at least try. This is impossible to get into it. 10 points for uh, packaging, Donna. Donna people. Jesus. I'm just going to bust it in a minute. Yes, finally. Not just going my leg. Whoa. Oh, nearly there. Come on, baby. I mean, I mean, guys. Sorry about that. That took. Uh, some opening it's taken a bit of a ding in transit this box so i hope it's not affected it i don't think it will have done i don't know what that was that dropped down then a bit of cardboard i think right so first impressions are really good actually and i'm quite shocked and surprised because you know guys that i've got this gripe and it doesn't matter what brand it is you know it's basically nearly all of them to be honest but i have this bit of a gripe with guitars because you can spend two grand sometimes on a guitar you know, £1,000, £700, £1,400, and somehow we're still not getting any type of case, you know. I'm not asking for um, a super hard moulded case or anything, you know, or anything too expensive, but just something to protect the guitar when it's getting uh, delivered to you and something to carry it around with to your rehearsal. But yeah, um, somehow on this guitar, even though it's only a travel guitar, but I guess I suppose you'd need a case if you're traveling around with it, I suppose. But um, yeah, somehow they've given you this cool case. There are some bits here. Uh, no, they're not, they're handles. All oh, right, okay, they're just a different color. So this is what it looks like. So if you were gonna walk around with this guitar on a plane, like me, back of a car, whatever, this is how small it actually can be once it's packed down. You've got some straps on the back there, so you can even put this on your back if you're walking through the airport or whatever, maybe even going busking, I don't know. Um, but yeah, the case is pretty cool. If you have a look here, I'm going to take these off now, but they've gone to some pretty intense detail here. The straps have even got these these little, like, I don't know, stop the strap cut into your hand even though it's not very heavy. Right, guys, so let's unzip this. Let's take a look inside. Let's see exactly what you are getting inside. 
So when you open the first part of it, this is all the attachments and stuff that you get with it. Can you see in there? It's pretty nice, pretty cosy. Uh, might take some packing up, to be honest, for somebody like me that's useless at stuff like that. Um, let's show you. Let's do this stood up like this. So this is how you get the part of the guitar out that kind of helps it become a guitar, I guess. So these fit around the edge. They screw in by the look of it. They're pretty heavy duty and sturdy. I thought they'd be plastic and they're not. They're actually metal. Um, yeah, they feel good quality, guys. I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty impressed with that. If we get into here, there's all sorts in here, guys. Oh, there's a cable. That's pretty useful. Um, I've got some high-end cable, so I probably won't use it, but that would get you by if you didn't have one. Create the moment. That's probably an instruction book that I don't need. Cloth to wipe your guitar. Yes. I'll make good use of those for every guitar I've got that's covered in dust in here. Um, wow, they've even put a tuner inside here, guys. Everything seems to be covered. I'm going to leave this stuff in because I'm going to take all this stuff with me because I'm not intending to take anything extra like pedals or anything. Um, nine volt battery, Allen keys, a plectrum. The nine volt battery, guys, is because this guitar is active. I believe if you're using it through headphones, because believe it or not, this guitar has a headphone socket in it so you can go straight from the guitar to your ears. I believe that you have to have the battery and have to have it on active mode to be able to do that. Have they even give you headphones with it? Surely not. I think they have. Oh my. They have actually given you a set of head... They look pretty good as well, actually, to be fair. Check those out. They've actually given you headphones with this as well. I need nothing for my holiday, just this bag with all this stuff in, and I'm good to go. That is awesome. Really impressed with that. In the other end here, I don't know if you can see right down here, you've got a strap. Probably won't need that. I'm not big on uh, standing up these days. I'm way too old and lazy. Oh, this is a strap for obviously the bag, you know, that clips on there. Pretty cool. This I go on a caravan holiday every year and I'll, I'll probably, as long as this guitar is awesome, or as awesome as people say it is, then I will be definitely taking it on holiday. So that's your front pouch, let's call it. That's what you get there. Pretty cool. So impressed so far with the quality and what you get and the thought that's gone into it. You know, I mean, this isn't cheap. I think he's retailed uh, somewhere between three and 400 pounds here in the UK. It's not a cheap guitar, so you would expect it to be uh, pretty good. Right, so when you open it up, it looks like this. Okay, we're gonna get this thing out. It's Velcroed in place with straps. Don't know if you can see that. Um, the guitar is headless. Again, obviously reduces the size. I've never owned a headless guitar before. The tuning, obviously, when you have a headless guitar is at the other end. Can't wait to see what this is like. Oh, I thought, that was a, I thought, I thought I'd broken it. It's okay. Everything's fine. It's just a bit of a stopper, okay? So if it does take a ding on where the headstock would be, it wouldn't do any damage. Um, really well packaged, this. Like, one of the best packaged products I think I've ever had on the channel. Come on. Don't snap a string. Do not snap a string. I'm pretty impressed, guys. I didn't think I would be. Um, it looks really awesome. It's a small bit of wood. It's a small guitar, obviously. Um, the neck is not thin. It's not like a shred neck or anything, but everything's tight and nice on there. The action it's not bad either. That's not a bad action. I'll probably adjust that a touch, see how low I can get it. But that is not bad. That is well playable. Because the strings, obviously, with me in short scale, are a bit, got a bit less tension on. They're a bit looser. And when you play a short scale guitar, you can afford to have the action a touch higher. But that's that's not bad. That's pretty playable already. The neck up high is pretty nice. There's tons of access. There's proper guitars that don't have that much access. Whether or not that access will be there when we uh, get it all put together... I don't know. I need to work out now without looking at the instructions where everything goes. This has got to be the bottom bit, right? Has it? Oh, no. I think that goes in there. That goes in there. No, that's not right. Does it go there? Oh, we're okay. I think that goes in there. And there. It's a mini guitar. It's like, it's like building a guitar. Woo! <laughs> oh, you put that end in, it locks somehow. Oh, 
it doesn't screw. I was trying to screw it, I nearly died then. I thought I'd, I thought we were going to drop it or ding it or do something like that. Oh, it's fallen back out. What am I doing wrong? <laughs> Put it in. How do I know how this goes together? To go that way. <clears throat> oh, it goes like this. Right, okay, I think I've got it now. But only just, to be honest. There's something I'm doing wrong. I think it goes like this. Oh, there we go, I've done it. Wow, that was scary. Um, so on the back here, we've got the battery compartment here for when we're going in active mode, which is pretty cool. Along the side here, we've got obviously your input and amp if you're going into an amp. We've got a headphone socket, which goes straight into your ears, obviously. I think the next step for Donna, who are making these Hush X's, is, is to put like some kind of preamp on there where you've maybe got three channels, a crunch, a clean, and a high gain. I think that would be pretty cool. So then when you're listening through headphones, you have all those options there. Um, at the moment, I think that will be just like a clean signal from your guitar. Um, so you've got the input jack there, you have the headphone jack there, you have another jack there, which I think is an auxiliary, so you can jam along to stuff, which is, uh, that's pretty cool. I think that's what it is, but don't quote me on it. We'll be going through the specs later on in the real video. And here's the button on the side that clicks it, uh, you click it in, and it goes to active, click it out, and it's passive. We've got a, a double stacked control here, which is pretty cool. The tone is on top. Again, it reduces all the size and everything. Um, the tone is on top and the volume is below, or vice versa. I've not plugged it in yet, so I don't know. And I believe that here we have the pickup selector. So you've got three modes there on the pickups. Your tune is down here on the bottom end. And I gotta say, guys, this bridge, the first thing I noticed was the bridge, and I was like, I'm really impressed by that. It's a lot of metal. It doesn't feel cheap. It feels heavy. It's, it's, it feels like a great bridge. I've had bridges like that on, uh, uh, bridges um, not as good as that, sorry, on guitars way more expensive. Okay, so I think I've put these on the right way around. I hope I have. It would sit like this. I don't know if you can see. Totally out of tune. The strings are flappy as hell. I'm going to set this guitar up, tune it, all that shenanigans. And then I'm going to do the demo. I can't wait to see what this is like, but it's pretty comfortable. I mean, I know it's a travel guitar, but to be honest, I could sit on the settee, you know, could leave this in my living room and just have a little blast on it. And it would keep me going because I don't practice much with being a YouTuber. Most time, I spend most of my life, sorry, editing and stuff like that. But yeah, wow, it looks awesome. First impressions are really good. Better than any other travel guitar that I've ever touched, to be honest. Smaller and... It feels like everything on it is really, really good quality. You get tons of stuff with it, guys. No complaints so far, but these are only first impressions. Please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, or put a comment below if you're interested in this video or any of my content. I really want you guys to see the demo of this guitar. I can't wait to plug it in and see what it sounds like. Like I said, the weirdest guitar ever on the channel. Just look at it. Um, thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you all very soon.